Hello and welcome back to another video in the kitchen with Pen. Now this video I'm doing not to show off, not to say oh look what I've got. No, it's because somebody asked about the gadgets that I use and what I have and suggested that a video might be a good idea. So I thought okay then let's go and then I remembered how many gadgets I'd got and thought this is going to take a couple of takes but anyway here we go we'll start right then we'll start over here with my KitchenAid I love my KitchenAid it's a workhorse I've had it about 12 years and nothing on earth would persuade me to give it up it came I've got an ice cream maker with it which I have never used because it's one of these that you have to put the bowl in the freezer for 12 hours before you make it so that's no good and it came with the attachments that you can see there plus we purchased this one with the silicone edges so it really really scrapes around the sides of the bowl so perfect expensive very expensive other stand mixers will do just as good a job so don't feel you have to go out and spend huge amounts of money um, then we come on to our redefine hot water um, boiler, I suppose for want of a better word. We can alter the temperature, it goes from 85 degrees Celsius up to 100 and it has 95 degrees. The maximum amount I can boil in there is 1.5 litres, the minimum amount is 150 ml. You can, I'm just going to demonstrate, you can, um, it will fill two cups at the same time. Obviously these cups aren't going to fill because it's 150 ml in there. Um, so you're saving water, you're saving electricity because you're only heating what you need. It has a Britax filter in there. There is something that tells me when, to, when I need to change the filter. It also tells me when it needs descaling. So this I love and really really good buy like this then we'll come on to a toast rack now some of you might feel well a toast rack is just a toast rack just a toast rack we don't need that but they are rather nice on a when you're making a cooked breakfast for a number of you there you go just so you can see that a uh, cooked breakfast for a number of you and you know everybody can help themselves to toast the other thing i like it for is if i'm making fried bread you've all seen how i make fried bread i put the bread in the pan <coughs> excuse me of oil and then I pop it under the grill well if I've not got room under the grill for all of it or if I want to drain off some more of the oil I'll put the slices of bread in there and the oil will drip off scales everybody needs a good set of scales and let me tell you these are a very good set of scales they um, you can change whether it's ounces or liters you can set a time on there it's even got the temperature so really really good set of scales and i'd recommend anybody to have a good set of scales now we come to a toasty maker well who doesn't love a toasted sandwich but this my Murphy richards one comes with interchangeable plates so i don't just have to make toasters in there i can make waffles and fabulous waffles got a recipe on the page for those and paninis so if you just take the plates out and change them dead dead easy something i dare say a lot of you've got is a coffee maker we had a tassimo and we changed to the dolce gusta i don't drink coffee or hot chocolate which are the drinks you can get in for these but steve likes them and we've got the holder for the pods. Next we have the ice maker. It's not on at the moment. This is a silver crest. It was £80 from Lidl's and come the summer it's worth its weight in gold. It makes 10 ice cubes at a time and it takes approximately 10 minutes for each cycle. So you soon get lots of ice cubes in there. This is a breader. When you're making breaded fish or meat, chicken, whatever, a breader is really handy. So what you do is you pop your chicken, or I wouldn't say chicken, in the bottom. 
with the breaded flour this is like a sieve you put this lid on and you turn it over and you shake and you turn it over and you shake and you turn it over and you shake and you get perfectly breaded pieces of meat fish chicken right i was in two minds about this one but i'm going to do it this is my washing up bowl well it's just a washing up bowl or is it if i turn it to there it seals it so the water isn't going away then to empty it and also catch any bits and we all get bits in a washing up bowl no matter how hard we try just turn it again and it drains out so yeah technically it's a gadget and the same goes for my dish drainer we all have those mine has a literally a drain here and if I didn't have things in front of me it would be going directly down here on the draining board so another gadget if you like now this one this is definitely a gadget there's no two ways about it this is for a blooming onion have you ever had a bloom have you ever had a blooming onion if not you need to change that so it comes with the cutter guide so you just put your onion on and you slice down there so you get the blooms the petals then you sit your onion in the bottom with your seasoned flour pop the lid on and you dredge in the same way as you do with the bread we've just had now how about chips this is fab i kid you not you peel if you want to your potatoes your carrots your parsnips your whatever you're using then you have a handle here and it's got suckers on the bottom you push that across push that down and that's that's nice and solid so you can do french fries as we have here or you can do just ordinary sized chips you put <coughs> your potato in there and you pull down like that and your chips come out the front there love this gadget love it love it love it right the meat slicer I don't eat enough meat, I don't need a meat slicer. No, possibly you don't. But we do use this very regularly. As you know, we buy larger joints of meat than we need and we slice and freeze them. Now, this is as thick a slice as you can get, so it's perfect for, no, it's not actually, is it? It's perfect for bread and it goes right down to, I hope you're watching, as thin as that I'm not sure you can see how thin that would be but you get lovely thin slices <clears throat> it's really easy to clean that's what some people worry about how easy it is to clean the blades come off quite easily and they're just dead easy to clean it came with the blade that's on there it came with a special specific hand blade it came with a bread blade and this was an Andrew James one and it's excellent really 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 excellent um, a blowtorch now you may or you may not need one but these are very good um, but I'm gonna be honest if you're gonna do a lot of blowtorching then Nick your old man's one out of his toolbox because it's much stronger. Much stronger. So then we're going to come on to sous vide wands. These are water circulators. So you put these in a large um, container or saucepan if you have it. You set your temperature and the water circulates and you've, you've, you've set what temperature you want it to get to and I promise you that using these you will get the best meat you've ever had they are perfect it will not overcook it I have two why do I have two well we bought the Anova 
and it's brilliant. And then the, um, oh my God, what's the name of it? Anyway, the jewel, the jewel. They wanted testers to try them and give their opinion. So I applied and thankfully they accepted me and I got a jewel sous vide wand for free, for nothing. Thank you very much. Okay, and we'll be doing the video at the weekend. Oops, that one wasn't meant to happen. Using the sous vide, so you'll see. Right, next is a mini chopper. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. You've seen me rave on about it in my videos. Love it. I do have a full size, um, do you know, I was about to dawn this morning and I couldn't remember what it was called, food processor, but I tend to use this far more. Another gadget you've heard me speak about is my vacuum sealer. This is a food saver and it's brilliant because you just cut your bags to size. I'm just going to get the Oh, I haven't got any bags in. Yes, I have. Cut your bags to size, add your items, seal it, and it sucks out all of the air in the bag. This means that your things that you freeze are far less likely to have freezer burn because there's nowhere for air to get in. Um, this also does um, containers. I have a couple of the containers, and that's great if you want to do a quick marinade. Brilliant. Another item you've seen me use is my mm, mandolin. Wouldn't be without it, as I've said on the videos, this is um, one of three, but this is the best because of how it is made. You've got the safety there, and obviously your food goes onto, the, onto here, and you're just up and down, and up and down, and up and down, and your fingers will not get caught even if you're as clumsy as me. And believe me, clumsy is my middle name. Okay then, this is my plug-in induction hob. We bought this when we first moved in here and we had no cooker. I was cooking with a little mini cooker and this, and I would easily do roast dinners for myself, Steve and Steve's dad brilliant this is great it really is good it's power saving because it heats immediately it goes off immediately you've seen it in the videos you know how good it is okay then i have a deep fat fryer this is a tfal oleo clean which means that you can just press it to one way and it filters all the water all the water all the oil out and it's, it's filtering it so the oil can be used again. Love it. Best chips ever. Honestly, I'm not just saying it. They really are. I've just got a selection of bits and bobs out of the drawer. This... No, it's not. It's just short on the drawer. <laughs> this is a spaghetti measurer. Now, I know people tend to cook too much spaghetti. I always do, but this, you can measure it for four people, for three, for two, or for one person. Just going to alter it down to one person. And you put your sketty in there, and that is enough for one person. It has to fit tightly. Okay, then we have a pineapple corer. Peeling a pineapple and coring it, you, you do tend to waste a lot, but not with this, because this takes the center well takes the pineapple out of the shell all you have to do is cut the top off and it leaves the hard core which you don't like you also get to drink all that lovely pineapple juice that's in the bottom of the shell there so another good buy dough scraper perfect for bread measurements on there perfect a lattice pie maker save you rolling out um cutting out different um, pieces of pastry. This, roll out one piece of pastry, go along and you'll get a lattice cut. Burger press, oh I love my burger press. Perfect burgers every time. This was so cheap, you can see it's well used. So cheap from Dunelms years ago. 
you put your meat in there normally I'd have a um, disc in there of um, some sort of paper to stop it sticking dump the um, piece of meat in there press down twist push it across and it comes out just there perfect poaching rings does what it says on the tin a cherry pipper or a for what's the other thing olives love this excellent but it's pretty messy sometimes i get fed up and go i'll just do it myself it could look like a bloodbath at times depending how fresh your cherries are an ice cream scoop or a potato scoop if you're old-fashioned so load it up press the side plonk it out so we load we load we press that plonk it out these i've shown you these on the page these are pastry guides so that when you're running at rush rolling out your pastry you get them to the thickness that you want i found them really really good so another thing you don't need you really don't need them but i like them and now on to a spiralizer this one by helmsley and helmsley came with a lifetime guarantee it all you do you put your fruit or veg on there push it up to there and you twist this comes with interchangeable blades so you can have thick slices like you'd have there you can have these and there's another so there's three interchangeable blades nice and fine for well carrots it's really good for if making a coleslaw um absolutely honest here don't use this anywhere near as much as i should it's become a bit of a kitchen ornament right then now we're going to go on to some of my most expensive and most used strangely enough gadgets okay so we will start we will start with my thermomix these machines are mm, 1500 to 2000 pounds i didn't buy this as some of you may know back in 2014 i was diagnosed with throat cancer and it could have meant that i was never able to eat solid food again my wonderful facebook friends dear mick who sadly not no longer with us started a gofundme and i'm so sorry they raised enough money to buy me a thermomix i have the veroma that goes on top as well um this weighs it measures it heats it chops, it grates, it's it's the all-in-one machine, it does everything. I lived on soups from this for many, many weeks. Um, without it, I think life would have come a bit boring. Um, I can never, ever, ever thank everybody enough who did this for me. Um, I'm, I met, and I'm using the term loosely, all these friends on a forum for heart patients, because as you know, Steve has a serious and incurable heart disease. And they said that I was always there for them, as I am for anybody, and they wanted to be there for me. So they did this wonderful. Next up, it's my Ninja grill max um it'd probably be easier to tell me what tell you what this machine doesn't do but i'm going to plug it in and i think i have to move it across just a little bear with okay we're plugged in now what does this machine do well it air fries it roasts it grills it bakes it reheats it dehydrates and 
it's brilliant it's really good it's got a grill there grill pan there so if i'm making steak cooking steak i get a most wonderful sear on it um i've baked in it um lovely potatoes in it lovely meat honest to god everything i've done in it spot on um this is a coffee uh, coffee a milk frother from Aldi's it again we've had it quite a quite a number of years now and it really really does make lovely frothy milk for on the top of a coffee a hot chocolate it has a you can do it hot or cold you just press the button it starts whizzing and the light will flash when it's ready a couple of other things which aren't essential but I love and one is my crinkle cut chipper my mum used to have one of these and it just reminds me of her so much when I use it now this is a potato ricer and fairly recent acquisition in the last couple of years never thought I needed one I can make smooth mash this takes it to the next level you put your mashed potato excuse me this is, this is, this is me you put your mashed potato in there. You then pull this down and you push. And out of here comes rice, rice comes potatoes that look just like rice. They are beautiful. No lumps, no bumps, absolutely wonderful. So, and lastly, every home needs a knife sharpener. Steve is the knife sharpener in this house and he swears by this one but if he didn't we've got this one if you didn't like that we've got this one and if you didn't like that we've got this one too so a knife sharpener of some description is a must as far as i'm concerned in any household okay and what is no home complete without certainly my home is incomplete without a teapot Steve. yeah or a Steve or two and if you've got a teapot you obviously need sorry I'm trying to keep you in focus a tea cozy and then again, if you're going to do all that, going to go to that bother, what else you need? Don't need it with this one because it's got, you put the tea inside there and it's rather like a coffee press. But you need a tea strainer, a good old fashioned cup of tea from a pot made with tea leaves. And there's nothing wrong with having a coffee if you like it. Disgusting stuff in my opinion, but there you go. So you need a French press too. And that, yeah, that's it, I think. Not a gadget per se, but these little egg cups are so cute, I couldn't resist showing you them. Look, it's Mr. Shifter and Cyril the Cyclist from the PG Tips adverts from the 1970s. My nanny and granddad got me these. So you take off the lid, pop your egg in there, put the lid back on, or his face, his upper torso, and you've got boiled eggs for breakfast. I loved these as a kid, and no amount of money in the world would persuade me to part with them. Ninja Foodie 15 in 1. It's my most recent acquisition. And let's just have a look at what, or what this does. So, we can pressure cook with a natural release, we can pressure cook with a quick release or a de delayed release. And this does all of these automatically. It gives you a little tie, a little buzz, a little bell when it's time to open for after your delayed release. Okay, you can cook it on high or low in pressure cooking and pressure cooking tenderizes everything. Honestly, wonderful. Then we go across to the middle 
and we can steam meals. We can steam an air fry, we can steam roast, we can steam bake and we can steam bread. Right, I have steam roasted, I've steam air fried, I've steam baked, I have steamed bread. I'm going to be honest, my bread was a disaster, so that's why you haven't seen it. You can alter the temperature, okay, and obviously you can alter the time, so perfect. And then we go across, and we've got air fry, grill, bake, dehydrate, prove, sear saute, steam, slow cook, and we can make yoghurt. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous bit of kit. And do you know what the best thing is? There's only one lid. This lid is the same lid that you use for pressure or any other mode on here. Okay, you've got your basket that comes with it and your lovely inner pot, which does have your, um, I don't know if you can see actually, but it does have um, measurements on there. Okay, and one other thing with this model is it comes with a temperature probe. So no more overcooked anything. It has a preset temperature or you can do it yourself. So save up. You're looking at a ninja. Hang on, let me turn you around. So if you're looking for a ninja, I'm going to say save up. I got this one on offer in um, Argos, £185. Couldn't say no, could I? Um, so if you're looking for a ninja, save up, go for this. One lid, yes it's heavy, so please leave it out on the side because you're getting it in and out every day. You'll get so fed up, you won't bother. You really won't. You'll go, it's too heavy, I'm not going to use it. So leave it on the side and use it. Okay, and oh gosh, see the lid is heavy too. Lastly, what do we have? Lastly, we have my silver crest from Lidl's. This is an air fryer. It, let me plug it in and you can see all what it does because you know we've shown the others so let's show what this one does excuse me <coughs> this has presets too and chips meat fish prawns pizza reheat um that's chicken cake uh, can you see that one do you know what I don't know if you can see that one. Can you see that one? That's a rotisserie mode. Yep. And it makes the perfect rotisserie goods. Rotisserie chicken, rotisserie pork, um, kebabs, you name it, you can do it. And that button there turns, make sure that the spit turns. And then we have a, we even have a dehydrate button on here. So, it does quite a lot that the Ninja Grill does, but just a little bit different as well. And it came with three racks. And this is what you use for getting in and out your rotisserie stuff or your basket for your chips. So, there you go. That's just a little peek. Oh, that's been quite a long video, I'm sure of some of my kitchen gadgets yes you haven't seen the mincer or the food processor food processor is a moulinex i believe i'm probably lying to you it's probably a kenwood um so the food processor is that the mincer is an electric mincer from Lidl's, and yeah it works brilliantly but I don't use it very often so it's away in a cupboard this is what i mean about the ninja keep it out use it so i've just remembered one more thing or two more things actually but i think every cook needs the first one every cook needs i'm going to get the other one a thermometer a meat thermometer every cook 
and here's one that we use this is an instant read and it's i think it's about eight pounds amazon really really good really good okay so just pop it in your meat your cooked meat and you can tell whether it's at the right temperature or not now this is more expensive they, I keep putting it as if you're um, behind me. This is a meter. It's the temperature probe. But you pop this into the meat or the chicken or the bird, whatever, before you start cooking it. It connects to your Wi-Fi system. So you connect it to your mobile phone and you'll get a notification as your meat is cooked. So like sous vide, you won't get an overcooked piece of meat so I really am going now thank you for watching thank you for sitting here through all of this and if you've got any questions about any of the gadgets that I've shown you write them below and I'll happily answer as best I can don't forget if you've liked the video thumbs up would be nice even nicer if you subscribe and if you want to be notified each time we put on a new video don't forget to ding that bell down there. Thanks for being in the kitchen with Pen and Air Gadgets and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.